Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find capacity a couple different ways on the new DAT1 load board. So once you're logged in here, you're gonna to default to your dashboard. We're gonna start off by using the search trucks tool. So this is similar to the old DAT power version. We're gonna put in an origin, destination, and equipment type. So for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use Houston, Texas, and I'll leave my uh, deadhead to origin at 150 miles. That way I'm searching 150 miles within a, a, a circle around Houston. Okay, and I'll say I'm going to Chicago in this one. Again, 150 miles. And for equipment type, I'm gonna use a flatbed for this example. And I'll keep my date range <clears throat> set for just this one single day. You could, if you wanted to come in here, you could come in and select a, a range of dates to kind of open up that time frame, but we'll stick with just a single day. Now, when I click on search, similar to the previous versions of DAT, it's gonna show me current postings for actual trucks that are live on the load board. You'll get a uh, ranked by how old they are. So one minute ago, we have a flatbed posted here. Same thing with this next one down here and so on. So it's gonna rank them calling the the uh, the best matches, they'll call your top trucks. That's looking at your deadhead distance as well as how recent it is. And then the further down you go, you'll get all the matching results. And it's gonna take a look at when the truck's available, how old it is, the the deadhead distance and whatnot. But these top trucks, this, this is gonna be considered your best match. You'll also get a little snapshot at the current market rate for this specific lane. Okay, so if you wanted to take a look at one of these these carriers, you could just simply click on the posting, get a little bit more information on um, the actual carrier, their you know how many stars do they have, contact information, and all of that. Now, let's say you want to find a truck and you're not getting a whole lot of results in here. There's a new tool, or not a new tool, but it's a a tool that's been around for a while that has a some new features to it called Lane Maker. So if you've got Lane Makers, you could click on this link. And that's gonna give you some more insight. So not only are we looking at who has a truck posted now, we can now see what carriers have searched for loads in that lane, and also what carriers have posted trucks in that lane. So these two together, that lets you know a carrier that was, is likely gonna be a good fit for you, because they don't necessarily have all of their trucks posted right away, but they may have an interest in, in hauling a load for you based on this. So you can see, this uh, it ranks them based on how many times they've searched for uh, loads in that lane, and again the truck postings. You can see the actual numbers, but like this carrier right here has searched 125 times in the last just about a month here, looking for a load to haul in that specific lane. So this is a really really cool tool to use if you don't have lane makers. I definitely would recommend checking it out. Uh, but those are really the two uh, top main ways that I like to use. DAT1 to source capacity. Again, we're, we're doing the truck search as well as using lane maker. So hope that helps and we'll see you guys in the next video.